Hey guys, welcome to Gato Lum Retouch once again. Today I'm going to show you my walkthrough on how I created this image. Um, this is an image I did quite some time ago. It's one of my images in my portfolio at the moment. And this is the walking version, the original image. And this is the image that I came up with. This is not the work version, sorry, this is the original. Before any work version was done, this is the original image here. And this is the final image. Um, I'd like to advise you guys to subscribe, like the video, and please share and leave a comment and ask any questions if you'd like. If you would like access to have this PSD from me, you can be sure to contact me on my Facebook page and I'll give you information on how you can purchase the PSD from me for small small fee so anyway I'm going to show you how I got from this to this um, it was a very I'm going to say it's an easy process but some practice could definitely get you Okay, this is the first raw conversion I did from this image. Um, as you can see, I went, I went for pale, I went for more pale skin, and well, obviously, I wanted the eye makeup to be blue, very blue, very cold. So yeah, this is what I did. So this is the um, rock conversion I did for the overall skin. I did one for the makeup and one for the iris. And they're both labeled in the PSD. If you guys want a closer look, be sure to message me on my Facebook to find out how you can purchase the PSD so that you can take a very close look and see what was done. Then I created a split frequency where I I did some mine well I did some healing to the image. This wasn't all the healing I did, but this was what I I usually get bored of healing so quickly and I want to dodge and burn so much that I usually sh stop short and then start healing later and stop and Back to it, what I did here was I um, made the the little crystal, the little shiny shiny dust, whatever you want to call it. I'm not a makeup artist, so I don't know what you guys call it, but I just made it even and removed all the unwanted dots and stuff like that. So that was my healing. When I also sharpened a little bit certain areas of the skin that seemed blurry, like here, as you can see, one of the areas you can view that in my PSD on the mask. If you decide to purchase the PSD, um, then I did some dodging and burning. Now as you can see, dodging and blending is very dramatic, it also created a lot of color issues, so to get a better view of what I actually did when dodging and blending, I put it to black and white, and now you can see what I did with my dodging and blending, and obviously it created a lot of color issues, obviously these shadows are really burnt out and stuff like that. So let me show you what my dodging and burning looks like. Um, I like to point out that obviously I did not only use pearls or I did not only use 
um, I do not only use curves, I do not only use 50% lay grayers, 50% gray layers. I also used hue adjustments, the saturated hue adjustments set to multiply for my burn, and some um, saturated hue. Well, I guess these weren't saturated, but in some cases I would have to saturate it a bit. I think I should have added some saturation because. But unfortunately, I didn't. But yeah, that's what I did. My hue, hue layers have to multiply, reduce saturation. If I did not reduce the saturation, they would have probably been very saturated or something. For whatever reason, I didn't. For whatever reason, I did. But eventually I fixed the color, the real color issues that occurred with my dodging and burning. So yes, now you can see the dodging and burning, which I really enjoy looking at. It makes me feel like, wow, I'm getting somewhere with my dodging and burning practice. <laughs> so yeah, that's what, what I did. Might have gone too far on the contrast, but... And this isn't something I would not typically do to a client's image unless they request it because it's so dramatic. So yeah. That's my dodging and burning. You can move that saturated layer. Then I drew in some of my lashes. Nothing major. Just to fill it in a bit, and then I fix the color. You see that here, right here. See, it was saturated, and then I fixed it. Then I brought in some lashes. I believe I took some of these and just put it on. Then I removed. Then I made some healing adjustments, cloning, sorry. And yeah, that was about it. Then I created a gradient map and even now the tones of the skin, especially in the back hair and the shadows. Needed it a lot. And added a little bit of vibrance as you can see it's not very noticeable then I adjusted the blacks I added some cyan and some I reduced the blacks as well as you can see I added some color to the blacks and then I sharpened the image a little sharpened and added some depth at the same time as you can see here the eyes where I burnt heavily obviously it can't be equally as sharp as the areas that are in focus because since I burnt it it needed to be blurred because it's further away since it was burnt so I add, so I blurred these areas and I think I blurred here as well some more see I blurred because it was burnt <laughs> I had to blur it now blurring is something you use to add depth as I always say you never use blurring just for the purpose of smoothing the skin well you use it sometimes but you use it um, you use it intelligently <laughs> or artistically <laughs> So yeah, but the main purpose I use blurring for is to add depth. Um, 
so yeah, after I added my depth and I sharpened the eyelashes and the eye wrists and the sparkles, etc. After I sharpened those, I adjusted the eyelashes. Let me show you guys what I did. I fixed 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 them and added this one here. I think this one is a little bit too much in focus. It's a little too sharp compared to the rest and I think I should have blurred it, which I will do now. See? That's what I think it was to have done. Maybe even some more. Yeah. That's more like it. Or maybe even not that much. Just blur. Right, that's more like it there. So after I did all of this so my changes so far. Okay, so I want to do global image should be a lot more cooler but I'll get there eventually. Um, I liquefied as you can see I liquefied liquefied the eyelashes liquefied the nose and liquefied the lip line also I think on my liquefied layer I kinda just healed away some issues beneath the eyebrow there and then more eyelashes again I thought the eyelashes were too thick coming down to the end so I kinda reduced them a bit and they kinda looked like this. they kinda looked like the same It kind of looked like hair was a lot bigger than hair because the, as I go further away, it's supposed to get smaller. And then it was kind of like the same size, it created the illusion that it was bigger. If you understand what I mean. I just kind of clean up to some issues of the eyelashes here. Then. I made some color changes and some contrast changes. So let me show you what I did. Um, blues. I did some blues with a photo filter. Preserved luminosity. Then I added some cyans. To my cyans. So I think it's more effective this area then I adjusted the blacks made them blue I believe yep take away the yellows made them blue then some saturation I'm not sure what I did here took away a little bit of saturation from the overall image because it looked a bit pinkish then I reduced the contrast by bumping this slider here. And that was my color and my changes so far. Then I just did some minor changes again. Some unnoticeable changes. I can have a better look at it on the PSD, which you can contact me on Facebook for. To find out how you can purchase it and obviously I would leave the link in the description and then I reduce this highlight and some other little minor issues some pixel level dodging and burn nothing very ma major just some small finishing touches the global hue adjusted the hue and then added some more blues and I think that was the end of my retouching of this image final image is here this is the raw 
this is the final image. It's not exactly a retouch, more like a creation of a new image. It's more like photo manipulation, if you want to call it that. It's not something that you would do to a client's image unless it's specifically requested. But if you have to, this is how it will be done. So yeah. I hope you guys really like this video. I hope it was helpful. I know you guys would benefit a lot if you purchase a PSD, which you can message me on Facebook for. To find out how you can purchase it. It's going to be very, very cheap. Only $15. And... That's about it. Be sure to like the video. Share it as much as you can. Subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos and stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Bye.